Ladies and gentlemen, Christmas came early. Today we're going to be trying out the Verizon Gig 5G home internet. Now, I wanna say this, it has the potential of gig speeds for literally like $50 a month. Um, it's unheard of. If it can get a gig like speed for $50 to $60 a month, I will literally eat a hat. But it's guaranteed 300 megabytes. That's what I'm, they're telling me, but it's definitely gonna be somewhere more in the middle, he said. So we're talking like really, really fast internet for like really cheap. So it comes with two boxes. There's a receiver and a router. Obviously you have to put this thing in a window because it's millimeter wave technology from 5G and it doesn't go through walls very well. Um, you have to aim it perfectly at the tower, which there is one directly outside that window. And I'm gonna set this up. So tune in if you wanna see what the speed's like and what the product is like here at Life Plus. Okay, we have, let's um, I guess open the router first. Beep. Package contains power adapter and ethernet cable and a setup guide. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Deet. Oh, okay, it's cute. It's like really big, stand by. It's very big, it's very heavy. Check it out. This is the new router. Don't look at my dirty room. And this is the 5G home internet. This is the 5G home gig internet. 5G home regular, which is pretty slow, but it's cheap, but it's it's interesting. 5G gig. Stay tuned and we'll test them both. The 5G gig is apparently gonna link right up to that tower right there, right there. So stay tuned. So we got the router box open. Now this box is a little bit more intense. Now this is the receiver and it comes with the indoor bracket, window wedge, window wipe, and screws and anchors. So this is gonna require a special mount that goes on the window. And because obviously the technology comes in through the windows and it comes with the ethernet cable, cable clips, ties, also outdoor bracket, oh boy. Railing ties, this goes outdoors? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my God, it's like we're setting up an old fashioned antenna. Pole adapter. Oh Lord, this is the setup guide. Leave everything in the box for now. Download my Verizon app. Go to setup Verizon receiver. Oh my gosh. So this is gonna require me downloading the app and doing this whole setup process. So I will be with you in a moment after we figure out how to get it set up on that terrible dirty window. Okay. I just wanna say that this is heavy. Like this is serious, serious equipment. Like between this giant box in reference to my monitors there and like this giant receiver reference to the monitors, heavy as heck, apparently it's gotta go on a window and it's going to catch that antenna out there. But like, I have never had to put equipment like this up for a while. Like who knows what signal I'm bringing in this home, but apparently it's supposed to be really fast. So we're gonna see. All right, this thing got real, man. All right, so it could not be mounted inside. The signal was too weak. So I had to route a cable from the indoor plug out the window and the, the, the receiver is literally outside facing the antenna and I have to mount it with these mounting brackets on the outside and it says it should have a professional do it but I continued anyway. Um, and I have to mount it to my railing to get the excellent signal. That was the only place it could get it. So this is really involved, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. I think this was by far one of the sketchiest setups I've ever put in. As the internet was connecting, I was outside because the receiver's outside and it made the weirdest sounds. Like it sounded like, don't mind me, I'm a mess from doing all this. It sounded like a like robot talk. He was like, ar, 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 ar. it was something otherworldly. It was like back when dial up was going on. So the receiver only works in special areas. There's only one tower in this neighborhood and it's directly like down that way. And in order for this millimeter wave technology to rec be received, the receiver has to be placed perfectly. So it literally is out on a banister. Um, I'm having still some troubleshooting issues. I'm still waiting for this thing to boot back up. Obviously Verizon, as smart of the technology it is, it's got its kinks still. So I'm waiting to see what happens. I'll let you know. We're all set up. I'm gonna just go ahead and test the speed. 
and this is their speed test and then we'll run another speed test but let's just test theirs and see what what exactly is coming into the home right now what 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 all right guys i'm i'm not uh, um whoops i just accidentally I am not sh right now. 1,933.23 megabytes per second, 200 upload speed, and the latency. Oh my gosh. It's getting two gigs. Two gig internet. I'm not even kidding right now. Um, Forget it. I'm not even testing the other internet to compare. The other one only comes in at 100 megabits per second. This is literally two gigs. Holy crap. Well, there you have it, everyone. For $55 to 60 bucks a month, you would pay literally probably two to $300 a month for, from uh, Comcast to have their fast blast internet. So there you have it. It's actually beyond on um, comprehension. <laughs> All right, let's give this thing a test here. Another one. Wow. Wow. We're coming in over Wi-Fi at about a gig. So it's coming in at two gigs, hardwired. It's coming in at a gig, just about, on the Wi-Fi connection. Unbelievable. I mean, for that price, I mean, that would be a fortune with any of the big box internet companies like Comcast and things like that. I am just... Wow. Okay, we're gonna test. I, I'm very impressed with that computer speed, with that internet speed. I mean, it's unbelievable. We're gonna test the hard on the PC and see how that does. So on the desktop. Yeah, it went higher this time. We're almost, we're, we're getting there. I mean, it's almost as advertised. I mean, if I move that antenna just a little bit it will probably get a lot more. Now, if you go to that Okla or Ookla or whatever the hell that speedtest.net is, it's always faster on that site. So I don't know exactly who wins the race here, but all I know is for the price that I'm paying, which is ridiculously low, and the speed that's coming in is un unreal. So I gotta say, my conclusion with this, I am thoroughly impressed. I did not expect it because the Verizon regular home 5G internet was very slow. It sucked. But it was cheap, so I went with it, you know? I mean, it was saving me a lot of money, and it did its job. It's not like it was, like, impossible to use. But then, when they recommended me test this product out... Yeah, there's a lot of hardware. It's a little scary <laughs> that I'm bringing millimeter wave technology into my home like this. However, it's going through the home anyway, so I might as well just tap into it. For the price that it is, and it's locked, that price, it's not going to change. And I, trust me, I've tested it. The price does not change. They are keeping it to their word. It is beyond what I ever thought the speed would be. So... I highly recommend it's coming in at two gigs of speed in a perfect world. It will probably get somewhere around, you know, a gig and a half. I mean, it's it's beyond measure. And I will tell you an exact price if you want to get blast Internet from Comcast, which I've had or, you know, like a gig Internet Comcast. It will be two hundred dollars a month. No doubt about it. So highly recommend. Good job, Verizon, on this one. I think it's really awesome. And the upload speed is over 200, which is like Mr. Beast style. I mean, I could upload YouTube videos in like two seconds. So thank you again. I hope you enjoyed this video and product testing. And if you like that, just give me like a little comment or a like and share. And I will produce more videos just like this. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in. See you later. Bye-bye.